hotline don't explode for Lagos. And Senate don't receive report of the 2020 budget from appropriation committee. One union don't enter National Assembly to protest the removal of stamp duty collections where NIPOS do. And smugglers now don't hide petrol for two caskets for inside Ogun. Good afternoon and welcome to Wazobia Max TV. This na as it take happen. My name na Adati Omukwe. On top of the first story where we carry come, we hear say fire bomb for back of Diamond Estate along Isheri Lasso Igondo Road. And as the matter be so that they suspect say na sake of one pipeline where be say damage, now waiting cause the fire to happen. As the matter be some agencies there now, now they don't send go there to calm the whole place. We still hear say the fire been start around 7.45 for morning. And as the matter be, we'll go bring you the full story for inside our next bulletin. We shall probably come out from that one, enter the next story where we carry come. Federal Executive Council now on Wednesday don't approve 244 million Naira contract to use buy raw materials now for the production of medicine to check animal disease for inside poultry. Still for there, Minister of Agriculture and Natural Resources, Mohamed Nanono, Naim announced this one after the Federal Executive Council meeting for inside Abuja. He said they will produce the medicine now for the National Veterinary Research Institute waiting for Plateau State. And still for inside there, Minister of Works and Housing, Baba Tunde Fashola, he talks that the council now approve two memos now where BCD ministry submit, make them for use complete the different road project where them inherit from before government. The road project now for Kwara and Oshun State. We come up from inside the that to re-enter go National Assembly. For inside the National Assembly, now Senate don't receive report where consign the 2020 budget from their committee on top appropriation. Chamo Wede in charge of the appropriation, Senator Barao Jibri, Naim laid the 10.33 trillion Naira budget on Wednesday for inside their meeting. Then they hope that Senate now go begin debate to report, go begin debate for the report of the committee on top of the 2020 budget this Thursday. And as the matter be again, they don't swear in law, make a way they represent Kogi West Senatorial District, that's now smart at DME. Senate President Ahmed Lawa Nain give Senator Smart Ademi out of office inside their meeting on Wednesday. And with this one now, the matter be, he don't replace Senator Dino Melaye, where be say in win for both the November 16th repeat election and November 30th additional election for the senatorial district. And the INEC Nain declares in a smart Nain win the election. We come out from inside that story sharply as we enter military. Defense headquarters now don't come out to come here and say 30 top Nigerian musical at them. Now then go day for the new edition of Tribute to Our Troops, the Unsung Heroes concert where we say they want to do for 2020. The Chief of Defense Staff, General Abayomi, or Loni Shaki, Nainyan this one. As in a year, they opened the TTOT logo and the launch of the official website for Defense Headquarters now for Inside Abuja on Wednesday. The CDS where we say now the Chief of Defense Civil Corporation, Rear Admiral Obed Ngalabag, now in show face for Ram for Day. He has the annual event now day with Armed Forces Remembrance Day. And he has the Armed Forces of Nigeria where we say sacrifice plenty things for the country today, Kajad. Say the country not they notice them at all. In come they talk say they do this one now, now better collaborate they do with 360 Degrees Entertainment to do the event for January 11, 2020. And say it will take place for Inside Three Parts. In order to pay tribute to our troops, the Defense Headquarters, under the leadership of the Chief of Defense Staff, General Abayomi Gabriel Onisha King, Nigerian Medal, have planned an event in collaboration with the 360 Degrees Entertainment Group. The event is that, I quote, Troop to our hero, uh, tribute to our troops, the unsung, hero, uh, the unsung heroes concert, unquote. This event is planned at this time of the year so that it will go along with the annual Armed Forces Remembrance Day celebration. The event is a deliberate effort by the Chief of Defense Staff, General Oron Shakin, to encourage all Nigerians to celebrate our armed forces in general and remember our veterans, stroke fallen hero troops, and their families in particular 
by honoring their services to our nation so that those at the front lines will feel appreciated and therefore be invigorated and stay committed to, the serve, to their service of our fatherland. And still on top of the matter, the Chief Executive Officer of 360 Degrees Entertainment, that's now Olivia Adam, she talks at the concert now go make sure say youth for inside the country go understand the sacrifice where these military people they make and say it go help to build civil military relationship. The whole aim is to also get the youth involved. Everybody on the committee who are on the civilian, the civilian those of us who are civilians on the committee are all youths. And then uh, we have made sure that the artists who are also performing, about 30 of them, are not just the A-listers. We cannot start mentioning names because we have um, certain things to round up to, just to hit onto your own passion too. So I want you to understand that this is a, a, a whole package youth event to ensure that youth between the ages of 18 and 35 will, be, uh, will, be, will have access to the military through tribute to the troops. And we come out from inside that to re-enter matter of security. Police now for inside Kano State to talk, say, they will make sure, say, of uh, the life, safety of lives and properties for inside Kano. Aside from the normal patrol where we say that they do for some places, the command now, they currently redesigned the security architecture, make crime for no day for inside this festive period. As a matter be our Zobia Max TV Tori person, Dumebi or Dimegu, he go join us live from Kano so that he go give us the Tori of waiting police don't do to make sure say they achieve this one. But as a matter be, it be like say we go join Dumebi later. Make we for move sharply, enter the next story where we get. <laughs> Okay, maybe we go back, go talk to Dumebi Shapali. Hi, Dumebi. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Just give us the full story of waiting police people they do. Waiting with the moves where they don't make now to achieve this one where we say they want to for Kano. All right. Um, Kano takes police command uh, from the man who is the assessor for the with the DSP, Abdullahi Haruna. I think follow me the young this morning. He said he says police command already every day. So he said it's Christmas and New Year they come to if I can't see really well, you will not get them for any killing. According to Bainian, it's also that already they sent some officers there, go different different lungu for inside the 44 local government area of Kano State to make sure that security, safety, and peace for four months between inside the Kano, they can be. I think when the Yan they go for now, it comes up to the end of the map defense with some sister security agents, where people have civil defense, federal road safety for car road for them. All of them they put them together to see say everybody is just and security inside this Christmas period. If I'm going to come out for the general mass thing of public, the media are not trying to put them for anything. They will come scatter the peace and safety with the inside of the country. Okay, thank you very much, Dumebi, for that report where you carry come. That's now our person for inside the canoe, Dumebi. Where they bring us reports from Kano on top waiting police one do to make sure say this festive period go day cajad. We shall probably enter the next story where we carry come this afternoon. As it be so, joint anti bunkery team of the Nigerian Customs Service for inside Idi Itoko, uh, for inside Ipokia local government area of Ogun State, they don't seize like 13 jerry cans of 25 liters and the six jerry cans of 10 liters of petrol where BC smugglers hide for inside two caskets. Then in the end, they say this suspect now be one smuggled before enter Benin Republic before their plan can spoil. The federal government now don't ban supply of fuel to 20 kilometers radius from border area for inside the country. And we still hear say the suspects them now love, run, leave all their things, make tax force for that border area for no catch them. The talk person of the NCS for Ogun One Area Command, Abdullahi Mewada, Nainya this one confirmed this one where we say happen for inside one talk paper where they carry Koma Biokuta on Wednesday. When they come back sharply with motory, make you not go anywhere at all.
come back from that short break where we just do now. For inside the next story where we still carry on, the 10th edition of Zuma Film Festival, they happen now for inside Abuja. And as Imatabi, they are in a gathering of key players them for inside the Nigerian movie industry, plus including people where we say they get mouth on top film matter from the country and even for Obodo Ibo. As Imatabi now we deal with the Director General of Nigerian Film Corporation, that's now Dr. Chidia Madwepe, and Samia Nkrumah will be the daughter of the first Prime Minister of and the president of Ghana will be Kwame Okuma. Good afternoon. Welcome to our studio. Thank you. Okay. My people are well done. Mm -hmm. uh, Ogachi, there are one question I want to ask to be said. This one at the 10th edition now of this Zuba Film Festival. Like, what do you really want to achieve with this festival? What are they doing? As it takes happen, we say we don't land Gidiba for the 10th edition for Zuma Film Festival. Where well, don't happen since 1992 when it be National Film Festival? But as it don't become Zuma, this one at the 10th edition. And waiting we want to achieve, we say, make not be only Nigeria now we day. You know, waiting concern Nigeria, now the whole Africa is concerned. Now, where we say, make Obido Africa, they come together for Nigeria, they do film festival. Where not be only for Africa, where even the world go, no say, we dey Giriba. As we the answer Nollywood, they carry the thing, they go far, far for every corner for the globe. Now, be say a good make with the do film festival where the world too, where they come reach Nigeria, come Abuja, where be our capital. Come know as we take the progress, they do this thing. We too, they gather more from them. They go, they gather from us because this film festival, and I think where they bring countries together, make them unite, make them be one. Okay. And another question we want to ask you is who and who would they expect to see, like who and who they participate for the festival? Plenty of countries submit paper, submit film, welcome. As you see, my sister here from Ghana, uh, we get plenty uh, high-powered uh, Ghana delegation, where they here. We get people who come from Italy, we get people who come from Germany, we get people who come from South Africa, we get people who come from various parts of the Nigerian state. So, the place there, Gidiba, where well. Okay. Uh, the last question I will ask you now is say, where to be the, you they really get the support where you need for this festival? I they get them now, federal government support where tax people they pay tax. Now, he make we come there here. If government no, the National Assembly no support us, we no go there. So, we they grateful to our minister, where be Minister for Information and Culture, Honorable Lai Mohammed, where they, they give us a bongo support where the executive they propose, where make we they go forward. Now they make um, this thing come they happen before. It be like say the Zuma Film Festival, I know they happen before, but since this uh, Buhari government come, it don't they do them where we can't start them from 2017. They carry the go forward. They can't they be itself. Where we say the world now don't they come. Better pass, they come before. So we're grateful for the support where government they give us. Okay, over to you, Samia. What are the takeaways in this festival for this year? Yes, I'm very happy to be here, to be part of this exciting festival. Uh, and I know that the spirit of our Pan-African fathers and mothers will be smiling and encouraging us. Um, I've already seen quite a few of the participants. I sat on some of the discussions. And I think truly supporting the Zuma Festival, supporting arts in our countries is one way of making us feel the power of what Kwame Nkrumah called the African personality. This is our expression, this is our identity, and we want to show it to the whole world. And we can do that better if we stand together, all of us. Okay. Thank you very much, Ogachi Diamaduke, and thank you, Samoya, Samia Nkrumah. Thank you okay. for having us. Mm. As a matter be so, we did come back again. Me just day where you did, we still get more to we for ground.
Welcome back. For Inside Another Tobi, Senior Staff Association of Statutory Corporation and Government-Owned Companies them now on Thursday, Waka International Assembly for Inside Abuja to go protest against why them promote night post from the collection of electronic stamp duty. The General Secretary of the Association, Ayo Olon Femi, now in talk say it is very clear say Federal Ministry of Finance now they do collaborate with Federal Elad Revenue Service to take over night post work. Olori Femi come want to say this one now where we say they want do, it go make people to lose their job. Him come they call on Nigeria Port Authority and say make them no rest at all at all. Say if them succeed now for inside the night post, say NPA go be the next one. Next time so that we can use this electronic stamp to denote our receipt, our transaction, business transaction, bank transaction, and all of that. And all of a sudden, because we put the analysis of the financial implication, the huge revenue derivable from this project, the federal inland revenue, connai with the Minister of Finance to corner the process. The implication for that is this. The MPA should not rest because once they succeed in IPO, they will go to MPA. They will kill the entire institutions in Nigeria simply because they are tax collector. There's a difference between tax collector and other revenue. Our own is for business. We are doing business and we have a product we are selling. Inland revenue doesn't have a product. The product we produce is stamp. And if we choose to change from manual production to e-production, that should not be their business. Whatever comes out of it should not be our, their business. We have business with the federal government of Nigeria and we have told them how much we are going to generate from producing Easter. So if they feel inferior as a result of, as a result of this, they should go and think of other things they can do. And still on top of the matter, the general security wants to say if they don't hear their request now, say them go close down NPA. When they come back with business and sports story, no go anywhere. <music> For inside business, the Office of the Auditor General of the Federation talks say out of the 6.4 trillion naira where B C B revenue where B C revenue collection agencies them generate for 2017, say about 1.5 trillion naira. Nahim day for the Federation account where B C it break waiting day for inside law. Then yan this one for the audit report for 2017 where them release on Wednesday for inside Abuja. The report where be seen at the Auditor General of the Federation, Anthony Ayine, been signed. He yan say three agencies now come out money without authorization. And he list out the agencies them. He said the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, uh, the Federal Inland Revenue Service and Department of Petroleum Services day for the list. He can give sense to talk now, say the Accountant General of the Federation, Ahmed Idris, talk say make them stop all the deductions. He can say at the same time sanction all the agencies that will be said and get hand for inside the deduction. That's now our business story for this afternoon. Make we still go for sports. <music> and for inside sports, the Confederation of African Football don't release the final 10-man list now for the African Player of the Year Award. The list now will be seen a vote from CAF Technical and the Development Committee, plus including the panel of media experts now in the side them. We yes, they get Odion Igalo as the only Nigerian way day for inside the award. We Fred Ndidi and Victor Osime will be seen then day for the initial 30-man list now in them leave out. And as a matter be to the 10-man list get Sadio Mane, and of Senegal, where we say they the fourth place for the Ballon d'Or award. We still hear say uh, Liverpool player Mohamed Salah of Egypt, they fifth place for inside the award. Now all the Tori them be this as it take happen. But before we go, maybe still look all our top Tori them again for this afternoon. Pipeline don't explode for inside the Lagos. And Senate now don't receive report of 2020 budget from appropriation committee. And one union enter national assembly to protest the removal of stamp duty collection when I post do. And smugglers now hide petrol for two caskets for inside Ogun. 
Now all the Tory them be this as it take happen on top of their mask. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.